Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the brand new series of Crusader Kings 2 here on the Lord Master channel. And as I already said, my name my name is Lord Master. And if you people know for about the past two months, I guess two months ago back in September, if you're watching this on the, the day it came out, or unless you're watching on a later day, but anyways, let me just bring you up to speed from the previous Crusader Kings series I did, which was Assyria. Which, which I ended that series two months ago on uh, Labor Day, September, Labor Day, September 2019, for just for date of reference. In which I lately want to do another one, um, which I had India in mind, because uh, for the past couple of months, throughout most of 2019, since March, I was inspired by India and Indian culture and history most of the time throughout the of 2019 which you could say that Lord Master well had a discovery of India again I'm not referencing uh, too much about the uh, book that Jawaharlal Nehru wrote um, but anyways uh, and I did watch a bunch of movies and television that comes from India which I'm not going to name names here I will say that on the next episode uh, when I t talk more about the influences of what got me into this so as you can see the world map, this is the historical start of 769 AD. Previously, we started off with 769 in a Shattered Realm playthrough as Assyria, which I think it was a great series and a great experience I did playing as this, you know, minority culture of the Assyrians, much like I've been having this theme for throughout 2019 in Crusader Kings. I was the Bosnians, the Dalmatians, and then the Assyrians, you know, small cultures, which if I were to bring up that map right now, uh, just for the data reference, here's the Assyrians where they live, and then there's the Dalmatians of where they live, and then there's the tiny little Bosnian there. That's where I was last time. But in this series now, I play as the Chola dynasty, which is of a Tamil origin down in South India. Now, as you can see, you know, map-wise, Tamil is not a minority culture. Matter of fact, I don't think there are any Indian cultures that could be considered of the minority. Unless you want to talk about landed characters, then, then maybe the Nepali, because Indo-Aryan culture, just for reference. But us Tamils, the Kannadas, and the Telugus are of a Dravidian origin. We're probably known to you Westerners as South Indians. Again, I did a plenty of, you know, study in Indian, ancient Indian history in particular. You know, stuff from, you know, like the Mauryan Empire, Ashoka the Great, uh, the Shungas, and uh, all the way up to the Guptas, which interestingly, when uh, if you probably, one of those people that did vote on a poll that I had up during, throughout the month of October, I had a poll where you could pick us two dynasties of which Indian dynasty you should play as. And Chola, I won. No, what do you mean I won? The Chola dynasty is the one that won the vote. The second choice that I would have played as the Gupta dynasty, as you can see. That man there, who's from House Gupta. I could have potentially played as that character, but surprisingly, the vote was 57% on the final, and, and it was Chola that won. Chola is, you know of the three crowned kings of Tamilakan. You know, here's us, Chola, who's ruled by Thakur Irajasakara. Yes, I know that name, how to pronounce that. And then there's the Pandya, which is the other crowned king of Tamilakan. And then there's the little Chera, which is same, you know, single county just like me. So we're starting this series not as an independent country like I did with um, Ragusa and Assyria, but we're going to have a similar route, just like I did with Bosnia back then, the Tezilovic series, which has been one almost one year to this day um, when I did that series in the beginning. But right now, we're in South India as the Chola dynasty, which historically, when I mentioned about the three crowned kings of Tamilakam, this is Tamilakan, the De Jor kingdom, territory-wise, which does include the Maldives. Yeah, the three crowned kings of Tamilakan, the Cherub, the Panya, 
Not so well. I'm not saying they all ruled the area once. It's just what they called it that in their ancient Tamil history there. But as of 769, it is the Pandya that's the Raja. The two of us here are of, of Thikana, you know, Thakur, which is basically the equivalent of Count. But I believe in the Sanskrit language, Thakur is like a duke, and a, and a Raja is king. You know, more like a petty king. And then you got this guy up here, who's of a Pallava Raj. Different Tamil dynasty, but but he rules part of the lands that are Telugu. And may one day create the kingdom of Andhra. <coughs> Andhra, which i okay, not too familiar with all the name pronunciations in both North and South India. Just enough to get by. At least the Indo Aryan portion, the northern guys, while we southerners, Dravidians, we're a different breed, mind you. But not, you know, entirely. We're Hindus. That's who we are. As you can see, the religion map of India, it's predominantly Jain on this half, and the other Buddhist, with some parts Hindu and pockets of. But down here in Tamil Kham, it's mostly Jain, with some Hindu, and a Cheriland, there's some Nestorian, and a tiny bit of Buddhist in uh, the Maldives. So, the goals I have in mind, at least this early on in the series, I mean, I wouldn't go as far as to be thinking about, maybe one day I should be the Samrat Chakravarta, unite the entire Indian subcontinent. Not so fast, because... That would take centuries. What I need to do is to build up the realm in this single county here before we expand to here, which we'll try to create, or at least unless he becomes proper kingdom, proper Maharaja, where Cholanadu will be formed. Cholanadu and try to expand into Panyanadu, Charanadu, Nadu, which is just roughly all the areas, yeah, mostly all the areas in today's Indian state of Tamil Nadu. Which, mind you, the word Nadu means land. You know, land of the Cholas, land of the Panyas, so on. So, if I were to add a little historical context before we get this series rolling, is, um, mind you, when I mentioned about the three crown kings, those three dynasties, I mentioned death, <laughs> mentioned to death. They are the oldest dynasties in Crusader Kings because they've been around since, oh, roughly around 600 BC or a little later than that. Particularly the Pandyas are older than the other two. And uh, especially during the uh, Sangam period, which was from 2000 BC to 200 uh, AD. And after that period, um, between 200 to, I guess, up to here, 769, the Cholas, these guys, this story that we're following them, they fell on hard times. It's like the Dark Ages for them. Especially with the conflict between, you know, as we're up to date, the Pandya and the Pallava. Yeah, they found a war one another, and the Chola are the biggest losers. But one day we'll try to get our prominence back as the Chola. One day Chola will be a great dynasty as it was in history, but we can do better, at least depending on how it may turn out in the series. Again, it, this is an unpredictable game. This is a sandbox game. And one final note before we set up all these things. This series, just like with the previous series with Ragusa and Assyria, I will be using mods. Mods that I basically largely use the same mods I did with Assyria. So, Listen up, uh, viewers. Um, these are the mods that I'm going to be using for this series in alphabetical order. The mods are Art Artifact Acquisition and Overhaul, CPR Plus, Cultures, Portraits, uh, Revamped, Christian Immersion Mod. Yeah, you heard that right. Christian Immersion Mod, despite the fact I'm playing as a Indian here. So I'll, I'll tell that in a moment. Federal's Buildings, uh, Historic Buildings, Patron Deities, Soulmates, The Great Trade League, 
the orders of chivalry and university these are the mods that I will use for this series now the Christian immersion mod which is just to enhance the playthrough for of the Christian faiths as you saw previously in the series when I was a historian but what does this mean for an Indian here well that's because of one of the options such as you could see that you can abdicate and become an ascetic just like when you did when what do you mean you you mean you yourself Lord Master God dang it pal context um, <clears throat> anyways when I did the Assyrian series um, which I started using that Christian immersion mod just to enhance that in the story and play through a bit and as the series went on and then they added this option which is strict requirements as you can see all of these and once you get all these requirements checked then you can abdicate and then uh, this character would go on to become a monk or nun if female and or in this case since I'm Hindu a sannyasi a sannyasi which is Hindu monk but it's not gonna happen with this character no I got different plans for Iraja Sakai for he is intricate web reaver charitable proud diligent and deceitful and he's a, a Shivist uh, who follows the Shivist um, branch of the Hindu faith which is monthly prestige this is what makes it different if you people are used to seeing me playing as a Christian I'm a Hindu as it says Hinduism is not a single religion but so much as a blanket term for the successor faiths of the ancient Indian polytheism as recorded in the Vedas the existence of many different sects with Hinduism as well as millennia of relatively peaceful coexistence with Jainism and Buddhism has made a Hindu faith remarkably tolerant and pluralistic toward all Indian religions still it's the most warlike of the three and yes you, you can see it it says rulers can raid infidel neighbors for loot which means if I wanted to since I live on a coast if I ever had a navy I would like to go on a raid on these places for loot but you can't raid your Hindu neighbors or your Jain or Buddhist neighbors you can't do that because of the same group Eastern and don't forget Taoist right it's been 13 minutes in so I think it's about time that we we have our council some of which skilled but it's our steward that's least skilled I already named a cartographer before I hit record and that's my wife just like with the previous series we'll look for resource to see what resources are there for now but they can change if people were to look for them rulers what to look for them. but here in Chola Mandalum our county our home it's home of the woodcutters lodge so that means it's low income again it's a periodic income unless you are a member of the great trade league society then you could potentially get lumber as a trade good but since I'm not a member of the trade league nor do I plan on becoming one then that's going to be income for more gold so we'll get a small amount of income and if one day should we expand it to Tagadu uh, we'll get wheat field as well if I don't know don't expire and neighboring Madurai has butchery and fishery just another example so in other words no not too many good resources the only good ones out there is is an ivory hunter's lodge and a silver mine up there but that's for that's for the Raja and this other vassal that holds there so they'll be more rich than I and speaking of oh yeah these traits here other than you know him being shy in Senegal but we got a strong guy who you know not physically strong but strong in military affairs so he can definitely expand upon in this country we live in and since I'm the spy master of the realm I got decent martial skill but very good intrigue so I like to focus on intrigue a bit more I am going to be the best spy master that Nati Varman uh, Nanti Varman of the Palavaraj I'm gonna be the best spy master he's ever seen I'm gonna make him proud of being the most competent spy master that that money can buy. And speaking of money, we need some. We need to build a war chest. 
and a designated regent um, should be somewhat of a high martial skill and or else should be my marshal. I got no court physician, which I'll call for one. I'll call for one right away and choose patron deity. There are the three gods of the Trimurti, a great trinity. Perhaps I should choose one of them as my patron deity. Well, I'm a shivist, but nah, give me one for entry. Maybe Brahma, but my stewardship skill is already too low as it is. How about some other ones? These are all powerful gods and goddesses. Choosing one of them as my patron deity would be a testament to the power of my dynasty. Okay. It shall be Kali, the slayer and agent of time. Yes. It's just up the marshal a bit, but as I said, I was going to up the, looking for one to up the intrigue, but I think it's high enough. So we can up the marshal a little and reduce the learning a bit. Not saying I ain't very bright, but it's just single county, your account. You can't get technology points out of it, so therefore useless for now. So I will choose Kali. And we're going to start, um, again, he's 49 years old, is the Raja, so he's been around since, I was about to say, he was born in 720, ruling since 732. While I, I've been ruling since, well, this is day one for the Thakur Spymaster Iraja Sakara. And my first order of the day, other than, I'm looking for a court physician, and I'm, uh, look, and I chose my patron deity, which I'm a Kali worshipper. I would like to extort the subjects because we need money. The money for that war chest is not going to raise itself. I decided to take matters in my own hands and see to that the chest gets filled to the brim with donations from my loyal subjects. How should I proceed? The peasants of Chola Mandalum can pay an extra tax. Doing this is viewed as tyrannical and will lower all my subjects' opinion by minus 10. Collect an extra tax for the uh, peasants of Cholamando. It's 110 gold. The peasants of Cholamando did as expected. Not appreciative the extra tax was forced upon them. The peasants even elected a leader amongst them who started asking questions why this tax was necessary and exclaimed that they will now have to starve. Perhaps something should be done before they get the pitchforks. The, the tax was obviously necessary. The peasants are just greedy. Because of this, in my county now, the vault risk is up, the local tax modifier went down, and uh, I did not become stressed as much as, well, sorry, this is the new Thakur of the Chola dynasty. The Cholas of the past, though they were generous back in their day, but we're on hard times, and we need the money. And we're going to use that money to build up the levies, to build up the military. So that one day we may expand upon this area here. You could say that's not right. That's unjust. Well, now as for my children, both of them shall have um, struggle. Even though they're already both cynical, which is just, well, that's just it for themselves. And before we finally hit play, Welcome the title, and who hates me and calls me a tyrant? Uh, probably you. You're my chancellor, but you are a lazy and envious guy. So, from now on I will spy on you. And if I find you to be a traitor, then, um... I have my trusted snoops and snakes will keep a very close eye on the activities of Dalapati Kankili of Kananur. Close eye indeed. Wonder what secrets he's hiding. As we finally get this show on the road, after nearly 20 minutes of a bit of a backstory or lack thereof, Tanjavur is our capital. My rangers reported a suspected witch living in the outskirts of the realm. 
You've never been able to prove that woman practices sorcery, though the villagers do not trust her. She is willing to put her medical mixology skills to good use in a court and offers to become my physician in exchange for not but a small vial of my blood, a most strange offer. Wow, that's young. Attractive, mystic. And she's of a Brahmin caste, which... Oh yeah, I have to explain a little bit of the caste system as a Hindu. Akaranan Karya. I don't know if I pronounced that name correctly for you Tamil viewers that may be watching this. Because I know in years time I'm going to have a lot of Indian viewers. Just like one year later after I did Bosnia, I got a lot of Bosnian viewers. So, small vial of my blood, I see nothing wrong with that. It's going to lower my karma. But there's a 10% chance I may get infected. I didn't get stressed, but I'm feeling lucky. I did not get infected. Gee, already? News from China. The period of unrest in China has dramatically worsened. A pale rider is sowing its deadly seeds in China. A devastating plague has broken out in Hangzhou. No goods travel along the Silk Road as merchants fear infection. Even so, the deadly scourge is spreading quickly, and the troubles of China could soon be ours. China will not be assisted, tributary states. By the way, what's China like? Likes Indo-Aryan cultures. That's unfortunate. I wish it was Dravidians, like us. But he just likes Tengris. But now there's a devastating plague in the Tang Empire. Which means the 90% of the value of Silk Road is reduced. So, well, we can't get Silk money. Since we live along the Silk Road, but we haven't built our trade post yet. Whenever we uh, tax those guys again. Oh! Revolt risk. I just remind them. I'll send my marshal to suppress the revolt so there'll be no peasant revolt here. We don't want to hurt an early game over. <clears throat> Dear Iraja Sakara, I would like you to invite to join. I would like to invite you to join me for a small gathering of friends. To dine and drink and forget about the world uh, outside for a little while. Please be prepared to reserve a few days for this, in case we get truly into the spirit of proceedings. Count Tantivarman of Kanchipuram. Is it Kanchipuram or Kanchipuram? Because sometimes I roll the R's because just based on what I heard from Tamil pronunciations in places like Madurai. Let me see, what are you? Yeah, why not? I'll come. We're neighbors. Even though we're of a Pallava dynasty, I'm not too fond of them because they rule us. Us Chola. Yeah, just like with the previous series with Assyria when I moved my capital to the Punjab. Hold on. Though a somewhat dubious uh, provenance, I've received information that Dhammapati Kankili of Kananur is plotting treason against his rival region. How shall he use this explosive information? Denounce him, giving me reasons for arrest and revocation. I like how it says revocation with a K. <laughs> Instead of with a C. But that's not time of the thing. It's a game thing. I can't arrest him immediately because my levy is small, his even smaller, but I don't think we can besiege that entirely. See, no, we don't have enough troops. So. That can wait. Unless the vassals in this realm have any daughters that, uh, that my sons can be betrothed to. None? What about neighbors? None. Well, that reminds me. Speaking of children. Yeah. I'll have this uh, attractive court physician as my concubine. And so is this other one. Which, not too fond of me because of, you know, rule of tyranny. Though ongoing. Hey, got any concubines? This one's a giant. But indifferent. There you go, got some concubines. And also it's to up the prestige a little. 
But purity, or excuse me, karma. I had a habit saying purity because prior to recording series, I sometimes play as a giant. It was just force of habit. I'll speed it up a little. Up the intrigue a bit more. I have found out nothing new and useful about uh, Kankili, but as my Shane informed point out, there is nothing preventing me from making stuff up. The bigger the lie. He murdered a childhood friend at the tender age of 11. Now, vicious rumors about him. So I became an amateur schemer. His character is an inspiring schemer who seeks to manipulate others through deceit and sub subterfuge. That's going to be the theme early on in this series. Unlike the previous ones of Bosnia, Ragusa, and Assyria. Is this one is going to be a bit more political and intrigue. Diplomacy and intrigue. Especially when I deal with vassals and a few neighbors and whatnot. Who else I could spy on? Ooh, bad guy. But who else? Oh, guy with no wind. Oh, wait a minute. Forget about the other vessels. Don't spy on them. Spy on the ones that are that have a problem with me. Like, you got a problem with me being a tyrant? Let me see. Oh, you want to spy on this guy. Yeah, I noticed the entry level. It's just I saw his traits where I'm like, oh yeah, he's a real bad guy. We'll arrest them all one day. Childless courtier with a strange uh, choice of lifestyle has shown men a bit more attention than the women at court. Might it be that he is a sodomite? Who is? Conkili again? I stopped spying on you. But <laughs> it's almost another vicious rumor. Look, this guy's going to be gone soon. I'm going to have him arrested. And another thing he doesn't like me. He's humble and I'm proud. And also he's a shocktist and a uh, shivist. Shivist, no, whatever. Yeah, shakti is a goddess in Hinduism. Mother goddess. Fertility goddess. So now I will accuse you of sodomy. So what you're gonna say about that? That's for them. All right, I've arrived at the rooms of a Count Tantivaman. There is plenty of food to drink here. The mood is decidedly merry. I'm looking forward to this. Let's get it started. That means a bit more prestige. Hunter, what do you think of me? Oh, you have a severe severe flu and hey let's be best friends before you may become the Raja just in case he doesn't get better I just want to sway him a bit get his opinion up a little so he doesn't fire me as spy master or anything else whatnot mm -hmm. the days of robbery are next and escape so many laughs and so many intense conversations in such a short time. It brings me closer to my companions. I feel like good friends already. You are my best friend, Tante Vaman. We're going to be good friends, especially when you become the Raja. Huh. He likes to bathe in the blood of the virgins. <laughs> I was thinking about pronouncing his name, but is it... Panini Rupat... Same kind of, but <laughs> Gangai Konda Kola and oh, hold on. Yeah, good. Tamil names, that's just it's a bit out there for me, but I will soon learn the Tamil language uh, very soon throughout this um, series. Just only the basic words, but as well as try to hear the audio of how do you pronounce the name of this place or that place. Unless you Tamil viewers yourselves want to educate me a little on how to pronounce it correctly by like what if it's a roll of the tongue or what accent I should say and whatnot. And I'm sure you Westerner viewers out there are probably like, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, yes. 
can extort subjects again. And now, the clergy of Nagapantanum surely does not need all that wealth. So more money, but I will lose karma for this. As I load, the, as my men load the wealth of the Mandir of Nagapantinum onto the several wagons, I was approached by a raving group of clergymen. And apparently they're not too happy about me seizing their valuable idols. They claim that you will be punished by the Vinyakas if you cannot justify this blasphemy. Oh, very low chance of getting stressed on my part, but Shiva told me that this had to be done. Yeah, that hurts their tax modifier as well. Wait a minute. Is that what he did? I don't know. Cape spying. So now we have this money and we'll use it to build a trade post. That's for the silk trade. Which is plummeted right now in China, unfortunately. You know about the military build up. Build it faster. Even if you're not, you know, skilled. But slightly better progress. You're all mad at me, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, I should look at the court and I would say, you're all mad at me. <laughs> Do not worry, I'll get rid of them. Sooner rather than later. Try someone else, someone with low intrigue. Huh? Underestimate that. Now, here's a guy that we can get rid of. When I say get rid, I don't mean like murder, which is an option, but I would rather try to arrest them, oh, not at all. revoke, and banish them to take their money, so we can spend with that money. Just keep trying. A year has passed. I'm 30 years old. And still trying to work on my intrigue skills, see if I can become a master schemer. Hey, you're better from the flu. Just got hurt. Oh yeah, you're a member of the Wheel Life and Death Fighter Skilled, which is for those who which is for from the uh, Orders of Chivalry mod. Well we can't do that right now because Assets are already plundered, so wait a couple of years. So basically, wait until January of 774 before we can extort them again. For now on, the source of income is going to come from the local woodcutter's lodge. So my main priority for this episode so far is just to build up the levees here. Until we're strong enough to get rid of those who call me tyrant. And then expand upon that region here. Which, what you got there? Oh, he's a member of the Great Trade Lake. I understand that. And since he lives in a wheat field area, which means he can get sacks of grain and trade good. Let me drop my headset for a moment. I'll be right back as my concubine is pregnant. Just, just for a second. It's not going to take long. Alright, I'm back, just in time. Told you it was this quick errand. I'm having dinner and plenty of drinks with uh, Kirti Varman Kalyani Chaluka, uh, Chalukya tonight. It's lovely. What I'm most charmed by is uh, Kirti Varman himself. Why else would I not be immediately stop our conversation, which slowly began to touch upon some almost heretical ideas, questioning the salvation of Brahma. Well, I'm dedicated to Kali, and I'm doing some intrigue stuff. I'm not really, you know, too virtuous. Despite if I got more virtuous than sinful, so... If we ask... If we do not ask questions, why did Brahma make us curious? 
I think that's a great discussion, fueled by alcohol or not. Speaking of that, let me take a drink. No, I'm not drinking alcohol, I'm drinking water. Walking the Palisades of my castle, <coughs> I'm joined, excuse me, I'm joined by Kirte Varman. I find myself agreeing a lot of the concept he, pre he presents. A futility of prayer particularly resonates it, it resonates with me. Suddenly he turns to me and presses a small letter pouch in my hand. My lord, will you carry this with you for protection? By the way, who are you exactly? Oh, just the commander and an heir to the Raj, which is up there. So, it's our neighbor. I'll keep it hidden. I thank you, uh, character Varman. What if I told you that all you've been taught to believe in is a lie, character Varman? Continues, throwing a cautious glance around us before pulling up his sleeve, revealing a scar in the shape of Kali Purusha's mark. Brahma is a liar. Reject the tired deity and let Kari Purusha guide your steps. Hmm. You truly are a dark tantric then? Can you bring down my enemies? I ask you to how to begin my journey into this forbidden knowledge. Keep looking. We might, if you offer yourself up to Kali Purusha. You will be granted powers Brahma has kept from us humans. Uh, Finger in the letter pouch in my pocket, I slowly nod. Oh, I think you'll enjoy it, he said with a knowing smile. If there's any chance it'll bring down my enemies, I will. So he leaves me alone for now. The Coven will be in contact with me. Yeah, I'm looking for my intrigue. I'm deceitful and I'm proud. Again, I'm half and half on the morals here. And I'm not really true Hindu since I already antagonized the Pujari here. Who's a craven? Yowza. Yeah, let's not forget about the political situation of India at this timeline. Besides, there's this revolt there, which is for a claim of Maharashtra. This was the period of the tripartite struggle. Three great kingdoms of India. The Rastrakuta, the Pratihara, and the Pala. They're all trying to expand to uh, outdo one another. And, and over there in modern day Pakistan, Muslims are there, but they haven't expanded in the... Uh, Well, they're trying to expand into parts of the Punjab to try to get into India. Because his, historically, um, the Muslims did not break into India around 1100s or 1200s, something like that. At least as far as my knowledge of Indian history is concerned. But the Hindu wars with the Muslims, that's none of my business because I live too far south away from any of that sort of thing. I had something else in my mind, but I'm trying to remember. Don't have the money to build a Silk Road trade post. It's been some time since Kirk Varman was in contact with me. I've been pondering what Brahma would think of me for venturing down this path. But Kirk Varman's already offered me more support than Brahma ever has. I've begun studying books on the occult. And so far, I'm finding the views preached at the temple to be narrow-minded at best. Why are we always? Why must we always put the needs of others before our own? So I will lose the charitable trait for this. Yeah. Give. Yeah, I'll lose the diplomacy. Give it to others for what I may need in the future is not always the best choice. After I made another court here, Kwai, as the third the third one in a short week, I felt a bit embarrassed. This is really who I am? A cruel man who likes to hurt people? Well, I already got down this cruel path a year ago, so... Who am I kidding? I love this. I like seeing other people cry. Now I'm cruel. That means more entry again. You joined the... Ad, the Advaita Matha. As you can see, why my wife has... This... I mean, yes, she's a Shaivist, but, uh, so now she's a member of the, if you recall from my past series, that I was a, at times, depending on ruler, a member of a monastic society. This is a Hindu monastic society she's joining. One would think 
she real she probably realizes um, that I'm going down this dark path and she wants none of it she knows she's doing some sinful thing that she would like to redeem herself so whatever I ain't gonna judge her I found some cryptic scrawlings written in blood on my bedroom on my bedroom door this morning the guards say I haven't seen anyone enter during the night and I dare not ask my uh, uh, yeah, not, not to decipher it Yet, I think I understand, the mark of Kali Purush. Of course, a bargain must be struck. I carve Kali Purush's mark into my arm, just like Kat Kirti Varman showed me. I have bandaged arm for about a few months. Yeah, as a spy master, a vassal was discouraged from joining things. I spent some time investigating into one of my Lager's vassals, and I feel that I've gathered enough information to gain leverage that would discourage the vassal from supporting conspiratorial factions in the future. I told you I would be a competent spy master, as I'm trying to sway you. Which, by the way, on Lager's council, what am I exactly? Practices. Yeah. That's exactly what I wanted. I don't want to be a loyalist, because he doesn't trust me. Midgets. Shoes. No. He's having an affair with a feisty goat. Still an amateur schemer. And I can't extort subjects until 774. Wonder if the Raja would appreciate learning more about the benefits of hard work for me. I cannot think of anything else right now that wouldn't like. Well, I have very low stewardship, so I don't think he'll like it. And my very low diplomacy. Yeah, I saw it. He's been very impressed by the tales I've spread about my realm's prosperity. Maybe I'm lying to him, <laughs> since I'm just stupid. Hmm? Brother Raja Sakara, we received word of your dedication and your desire to join the Legion of the True Lord. Await the messenger. Let the Dark One guide you. Signed, Archaya uh, Kundakadevi. She's a Kanada and wife of the the leader of the Rastra Kutu Revolt. No, I don't think he's simple enough to be a member of... Yeah, or be a member of Kali Purusha. One would think the forces of Kali are at work. I met an intriguing and hypnotically beautiful woman at court. Apparently this um, Padmava is a foreign diplomat. I engaged her in a conversation for the first time today. We spoke at length about potential accomplices, I was shocked when she carefully pulled up her sleeve, revealing the mark of Kali Purush. You're the messenger. She's a Telugu. Married to some guy. Not too skilled, but hypnotically beautiful. Well, ah, she's not more attractive like my concubine here. So yeah, she's the messenger. The deceiver smiles. I'm pleased not to I'm, I'm pleased to find you not only a charming man, Raja Sakara, but, all, but also one capable of intellectual discourse. The brethren value pursuit of knowledge, you see, in addition to more earthly pleasures. Her smile turns into a predatory grin as she continues. We'll soon see exactly how committed you are. I, uh, what do you need me to do? She offers no reply and instead taking me by the hand. She escorts me to my bedchamber, and I hesitate upon entering. Finding it flooded with light, candles form a circle around the bed. Several hooded figures surround the dark room, chanting in unison. Fear not, brother. Power and pleasure. These are the gifts of Kali Purusha. Well, my wife doesn't like me very much, so I like the sound of that. When I wake up, the cloak figures are gone, and Panmava is lying next to me, a smile Tugging at the corner of her mouth. Welcome to the cult of Kali Purusha, Dakota Raja Sakara, she says. I hold her close, wondering how I look back on this moment. I wish you had found me sooner. And now I no longer wear that white hat of a spy master and just put on a hoard. <laughs> look at us. Member of this secret society and I wear the dark hood. While my wife is the opposite and she goes to a monastic society of the Hindus.
13 a month. I never joined a Demon Worship Society from the previous series, but we're going to start off the back with this. I can deduct and sacrifice people, which is what I need when I take these guys with me. I can do all these pretty evil acts. So here's the boss, the leader, who is 70 years old and he's not long for this world. But he's an ugly man. Well, the mask covers him anyhow. And he went on a successful tiger hunt. Anyways, just be patient. Just have some children. Hopefully a daughter, so we can make some alliances within this room or the neighbor outside like there. Oh, you're a member of that too. Wife's a member of that too. How many members are there? 24. 15 deceivers, 6 Jamadars, 2 Archives, and 1 Brahmin Rakshasa. Sh uh, Shasa. Look, I know what Archaya means, but I don't know what Brahmin Rakshasa means. I know it's in the Sanskrit language, but I know what Brahmin is, but this particular combination is. I assume it's just another title for this portion. Oh, now we're not only doing the works of Kali Purusha, but as you can see, the evil god names of Hindu, it's the Vinyakas. Instead of Satan and whatnot, it's the Vinyakas. Yeah. Now we got two people that is righteous imprisonment, but we can't arrest them yet. Not ready for that. So next. Oh, born weak. My concubine isn't weak, but that's unfortunate. Also, mind you, every time when you see a Bervichon instead of, like, if you're used to seeing me as a person, they come with these other two traits. Kshatriya, which is a caste, or Varna in their language, is an Indian caste of warriors and kings, second in the caste hierarchy. And that's who we are, we're Kshatriyas. Kings and warriors. And this guy here, for example, he's a... He's a Vaisha. Who's of a uh, Indian caste of traders and artisans. And that priestly caste uh, is the Brahmin, which is an Indian caste of priests and scholars. There is a fourth caste, but it does not exist in this game, which is the Sudra, the servant caste. Mind you, the word caste came from the Portuguese. In, in India, they're called Varnas. But it's only the Hindus that follow this particular caste. Like, if I'm going to assign a commander... As you can see, their corn, for example. As it says on one of these, must be true down there. It has Hindu, also Kshatriya. But if you're of a Jain or a Buddhist, they're not bound by a caste. You could say a Jain Brahmin can be a commander. And a Buddhist Vaisha, you know, can be a commander too, and so on and so forth. So that's three people. What happened to the old one? Who said I was going to arrest him? Oh, it expired. Anyway, he's got any daughters? Neighbors? Anything? Or we'd look to... Maybe the Chera. So, maybe him. Uh, what about over there in Sri Lanka? Which is led by the Lamaka. No daughters there. None there. Some there, but since they're adults, I'm sure they're probably married, yeah? Again, I just need an alliance somebody just to have a small additional reinforcements to help the CG series. Ooh, she's strong. Tell you what. You will be betrothed. Not to the weakest son, no. You'd want to have a mix of strong and weak children in the future. So for him. Do we have an agreement? Well, that's alright. 
Will sway, and I will send my. What's your skill? Since I do not like you, I need to replace you. Someone more competent. So we need to get this guy to have a higher opinion towards me. After a lengthy discussion about the logistics of the up of an upcoming ritual, my brother in darkness, Thakur Krishna, uh, stood up abruptly, a depraved grin splitting his face. Well, I'm bored. Let's head down to the town and have some fun with the peasants. Chris, wait a minute. You're a Jayan and a member of the... What the heck? Again, the cult of Kali Purusha, only Hindus can join this demon worship society. Jayans and Buddhists cannot. And since this is the very start of the game, well then we are, I guess, it happens randomly to any Indian character, regardless of faith. Just for the starting of it. So in other words, he's not a real Jayan. And he's from uh, Gujarat, which is a only free Jain kingdom, or oh, Raj, out there. Yeah. So yeah, I got nothing better to do. How about time, I'll bring my favorite Gura. Demonic outings can be rewarding, but remember that the Vinyakas is the crew master. Wearing a nondescript comic clothes, Krishna and I are slowly making our way to the town in Chemical silence. We pass by a nearly kept garden in front of the cozy looking house. I'm suddenly overcome with hatred and revulsion. This family is clearly favored by the Supreme, which, by the way, is one of the god names. What if it's my. Well, I'm a Shaivist branch. What if it's Shiva? Alternate names is the Lord, the Supreme, and Brahma. Krishna. It's time to do the Vinyakas' work. Pick the wrong neighbor, my friends. The father of the family died last. Ah, but the marvels he got to see first. Krishna carved the wife's face off and pranced her around, wearing it as a mask, taunting and kissing the man while I boiled baby fat to make a flying potion. We finally constructed an idol of Kirmira from the dismembered bodies. I don't know which one that is, honestly. But because of this, I become arbitrary. I don't know about this. This is going to be piss offable, but leaving it would please the Vinyakas more. I'll gain more dark power, but I'll get this good blessing, which I need money. We'll be friends, but the locals, they're going to be mad as hell. Like how mad? That's what I'm afraid of. Now I have the blessing of Balbev. Of Balbev, the demon prince of murder and chief secretary of hell. Has blessed this character with overflowing coffers. Mind you, Bal um better is not a Hindu name. That is a reference from, you know, the other demons of hell and whatnot from Abrahamic religions. Um is and uh, I'm tempted to say this, but if any of you Indian viewers who are experts in, you know, this huge number of the gods and goddesses of the Hindu pantheon, I mean, I only know a portion of them, the obvious ones, but not everybody, everybody. But is there someone like that? I mean, I dare not ask, but I'm sure you probably wouldn't want to look it up too, because you don't want your mind to be corrupted. Oh, sh Oh, wait a minute, that's a peasant revolt from somewhere else. It wasn't in Chola Mandalum. It's in the Jail Waldad. That's the capital. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm a resident there. I'm a spy master, right. We didn't make the people of Chola Mandalum mad. No, we made these people mad. So they didn't appreciate the glorious monument of torture plus they were left on the plane. In fact, they were so riled up that they've taken their arms against their rightful rulers. I can hear the... I can hear the laughter of the Vinyakas. I have done well. <laughs> Kali Purusha's favors. The great and mighty Kali Purusha has given us so much, it's now time for us to offer them a gift of return. 
Kali Purusha craves a soul for Saradim in the dark realm. We have, we have the perfect kind in mind. If capture and sacrifice a powerful ruler. Well, you got it. But it's going to take a while because I need to make some friends. I'm trying to form an alliance with. And... Uh, so we can arrest one of these guys in case if they got in a revolt. Do we have an agreement? Yes, sir. All right. Begin making arrests. Don't worry about the capital counting up there. <laughs> we made them mad and they never know I did it. Well, let's get rid of this Pujari. Okay, which means we can um, sacrifice him. Does it count? Yes, it says sacrifice the ruler. In other words, a landed character. As Pujari, um, the Pujari is bound to the altar and appears to be mumbling players to his gag. He's sweating profusely, either to the heat from the nearby empires or from fear. His holy vestments Hang in tatter already. Exposing his chest after the appointed hour draws near to chanting my brethren builds the crescendo until finally it is time. Plunge my knife into his chest. Yeah, he's gone. Vanished without a trace. That's what he gets for calling me a tyrant. So now he's uh, replaced with this guy who Still doesn't like me very much. But uh, you're going to be the new one because you're the only one capable of it. So, yeah. Some of you people, you Westerners, are probably reminded of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, you know, that cult of Kali, something similar along those lines. Um, again, it's a Hollywood production, huh? Yeah, some would think, yeah, we took his heart and say Kalima or something like that. Um, and and the members are thuggies, even though the thuggy, the word, was not invented in this timeline. But in this context, in, in me being, if I was just to be more Lord Master-like, I would just say thuggy life, baby. Thuggy life, <laughs> like thug life. I uh, just want to throw a little joke in there. Yeah, since we got a new guy here, give me the money. Brahma told me that this had to be done, and I can't get stressed. Well, we're already friends, so I have to stop swinging you. And we're going to make arrests with the other fella. Well, it's been raised in rebellion. Yeah, we got, uh, he was our, God dang it, stop, pause, slow down. All right, call these guys from Mahoyata Puram over here. We can't besiege this area, but when their troops get over here, we'll have more. Thank you very much. And I have to call the Chancellor back here. My new steward will be slightly better. Got to start collecting taxes as we have the money now. There's that peasant revolt, the one that I stirred the pot over. And up, up unrest because you know they like I'm sure one day and then they saw a pile of mutilated bodies how dare they how dare they that this cruel old Roger could do such a thing but 
Right now, they're putting it down. They're putting that revolt down. It was fun while it lasted. All right, it's going down. Vinyakas, yes, he surely is willing to slave the dark forces. Wait, we're gonna get rid of this bastard. His title's revoked, and he shall be banished and take the money off of him as he's gone to the Pandya Raj, Madhura and Patika. Place him with this man, which at least he's competent. See if we can get rid of this guy. Ha! <laughs> he's a whore master, he calls himself. He visits brothels to consort the force because we accused him of uh, sodomy. He's trying to disapprove it. Yeah, I feel guilty about you, so I may give him a court musician. You're gonna. Your combat skills high enough. You know what? You should go on a tiger hunt. I decided to organize a tiger hunt, and I'll invite my vassals to enjoy this occasion with me. Yeah, we'll get rid of you soon. Oh, I forgot. It's been a while, alright? The hunters and their respective entourage that gathered at the hunting camp, retainers are available to see my every need, and the soldiers will be useful both guarding the camp and flushing them and eat tigers. This will be a fine day. You know one of the symbols of the Chola dynasty is a tiger. Several forward scouts come running back to the main hunting party. In excited whispers and forming a large tiger spotted head. You know what? Hand me my spear and stand back, I will kill it myself. Stepping forward, watch the tiger closely and weighing my spear in hand and wait for the right moment to strike. The tiger prowls towards me and slowly then suddenly a huge beast stops, looking nervous. It turns and runs to the dead vegetation before I can throw the spear. God dang it, I failed to kill the tiger. Well, there goes my reputation. Yeah, just wonder. I've learned from my little birds that kind of Kelly plants the child realm incognito for a lot mingling with the common folk. You want to be protected by two loyal friends during his whole adventure. A great opportunity to have a duck then, if I so wish. Ah, yes, it would suit my purposes marvelously. And we've got him. Actually, he's got a son. Well, I can't revoke him because he hasn't done anything wrong. Or I could say is tell all the other vassals, particularly the mayors and the Pujaris, to F off or you're going to be next. You know what? Just do it. I mean, sacrificing him or executing him won't do very much. Just give me that title. This is an absolute rule, mind you. And no tigers were slain, unfortunately, and yeah, it hurt my prestige even more just for doing so. Gonna have you banished. Give me the money. So that means we'll have a bit more levies. Max. Uh, 
Now I'm a schemer. Once again, gonna antagonize, well, not antagonize, but spy on the Pajari. Let's see if we can get rid of them. Get rid of those who disagree with me. And to get money. That's the moral of the story. He leads a sacred life as a prostitute in a brothel in Thanjavur. Didn't know you have a sister. We should be friends. Oh, I'm not saying that. It's just talking about. The peasants about told the whole castle about a dragon they saw in the forest, and the eager young man keeps nagging me about the true dragon hunt. What the heck? Dragons in India? Here's some dragon. Dob Dob not scare me. Gain one marsh. How about that? Do we have an agreement? No. Do the same thing just like we did with the Chera. You're from over there. Not a known murderer. Not yet, at least. <laughs> Sir Bart knocking him. I give. Cannot we pay this step by sending me something terrible of his own making? We have an alliance. Whenever we need you. Speaking of swaying, I should sway my um, wife. Even the one who will one day be devout. She's renowned for her religious poetry. Oh, I made you court me to the musician. Oh, that was just something there. Don't worry about it. Ah. Uh. That area? Yeah, sure, but I ain't sending anything your way. Oh no, not my friend Krishna. They found out. Curses! It's too bad I, just, I can't, you know, get him out of prison. That only happens if it's people from your realm, not theirs. One of you brothers, brothers, yeah, one of the, my children is going to be the next Dakota one day. Stables. Back over here. Oh, we're doing this again. That's the last time I've ever going to do that to them. Stick with triple taxation. Just 
part of the soulmate slot. But you're getting a little bit more money. Plava's retained. Should I try and murder? Hmm. In disguise, I'm made with my friend. And Pujari, um, Ekavaragon's burly armsman. And his shifty looking associate at a rundown tavern. Grinning, he recounts how he stabbed uh, the Pujari of Nagapantanum and the, the death in his bed. I hand him a bag of coins and leave. Outside, I order my guards to tie blue sins. And there's the new one. Well, time to spy on the spy master. I know the entire council don't like me, but one day I'm going to get rid of all of you. Some days I think I'm going insane. It's probably on my head. But sometimes I notice people staring at me. Oh my court tears whisper it is impossible to shake the suspicion that it might be about me. Being one of the cult of Kali Poru shows always felt worth the risk. But I'm not so sure anymore. How long before I could crack under the pressure? Now I'm stressed. And you want me to sacrifice a ruler? I'll get you a ruler. Maybe another food jar or something. But I will rank up pretty soon. Either a pujari or a mayor. So yeah, finally go on target hunt. Let's give that another try. Now I can rake up the Jamadar. find any tires. Spent some time with me. It's the best way to gain her trust. Even though I don't know about that because she doesn't like me for being a tyrant. As Jamadar I can summon a familiar, tainted touch, and a demonic possession. Proud and arbitrary. I'm sure you enjoy being in my presence for so long. Yeah, we'll get along better and hopefully we'll have a little more children. A little more because we're in our thirties. We got young concubines. It which when you have concubines it ups the prestige a bit. Is it time? Triple taxation time. Let's do that again.
and let's spend it on a Silk Road trade post, which again, China is still in a bad shape. But when they get better, then we'll make some of that silk money. And soon the next thing we'll build is a castle shipyard. Only if we can get rid of some people. Seems I can't spy on him, so... 11 Intrigue. Okay, fine. I spy on you, despite the fact that you're a bit more competent. A bit more as an under understatement. Just doing the work for evil. King of Denmark. You're going on a tiger hunt with that wound? Sure, I'll go. It's my second chance of redemption. Well, meanwhile, I'm trying to get rid of the mayors and the jars that don't like me. Like this bonehead. But after the hunt. I don't know why I use the word bonehead because that's just so antiquated when it comes to insults. Alright, we actually uh, did it. A little bit prestige. He's gone. Well, not quite yet. We got ourselves a person for a sacrifice. Here we go again. I punched my knife into his chest. Did it again. Here's a replacement who is much more of a nice guy. Because the last two were just a bunch of, well, you know, whatever derogatory word that a person could come up with in their sick little heads. I'm trying to get the prestige up to 500. And the reason for that? I need to convert to Jainism. And why Jainism needs more increase of that when at peace, since I'm not the kind of guy that wages wars. Let's try to spy on him. Still not Master Schemer yet. You are under arrest. Well, it's a rebellion. I do call him over here because, you know, just in case. Even a mighty star can be defeated by a single man. Cut off the head and the body falls. I am Ibrahim Sakara, Master of Shadows. And I shall rule from the shadows. Hmm. Uh, not a warmongering god, but I'll go for the Master Schemer. That's why I am called the Shadow. The alliance is broken down. Oh, that's alright. I got another person. Who is way more of a true friend than you'll ever be in your whole life. Alliance Breaking Jones. I don't know why I said Jones, it's a habit from some of my other videos on YouTube where I just do Name Something Jones. So 
area. I need to get rid of him. I hook him by crook because I have a bad feeling he's going to be the one to assassinate me. Has an imaginary friend named Papa. Since I'm master schemer, that means yeah, more of the total gain for dark power. I think inviting Thakorani, a Saramakai, to an activity we could do together would help us grow closer. I'm not entirely sure what kind of activity it suggests. Well, since she's a religious woman and I'm not, well. Trying to be a religious woman. We're both into intrigue, so my prisoners need some an, an anatomical restructuring. So, to help me tor torment some of my prisoners and have a chance to swear to cause, this is an intrigue based activity. Hooray, we gained nothing <laughs> because it's book related for the university mod. I was going to revoke you, but I noticed you got no money. You're in debt. What on earth have you been spending? Alright, wait right here. You're going to be under house arrest for a while. Now we can have a... Uh... Castle Shipyard, which will have ships, which in a far future will do these overseas raids. But maybe next time. The path for more prestige continues, and the reason of why I need to convert to Jainism once again it's not only just for more of the purity, but Whenever I declare such a war, because I want Tagador, so we can form Cholanadu, that one costs a hundred. And since I'm beyond negative, <laughs> because I need to stop antagonizing the clergy, you know what? Give me a familiar. As a Jamadar, I don't Weaver Dark Tondras, I could summon a supernatural beast to be my companion. This familiar will be my eyes and ears, as well as imbue me with its powers. I already got high enough intrigue as it is. But it needs more marshals, so a wolf shall be my protector. A little bit more on the strength of uh, levies will do. We can finally get rid of that spy master of mine. See if you could kidnap him. Oh, the thugs I hired to capture the mayor, though apparently you slew a guard and a servant in the attempt. Morons, you can't find good help these days. When does the feast begin? October. Remember. Month of October, whole day Kali Puja Fest. Because I'm going to need some prestige with that. Or something along those lines. Who the. My cock kept on. Oh, don't do that. Plus, I'm trying to get on the good side of you. And you're not worth jailing and, um,. Taking the money. Your money's no good here. Even if I were to jail you, I would divorce you and order you to take the vows, because since you're already a member of that monastic society. Again, your business. You do your business, and I'll do mine. But it's murder time. I spy master and my spy, uh, is Birdley Armstrong. Completed botching attack to Colonel Root. Worse, when he was captured trying to escape, my complicity is known. 
incompetent bungler, I should have done it myself. Whoa. -oh. My sister in darkness, Akonaka Devi of Rastrakuta Revolt, is passing by and decided to pay me a surprise visit. She's in a lewd mood and thought we might stage an impromptu orgy in the honor of the Vinyakas. Yeah, how's that revolt going? Looks like a stalemate because it's been going on for years. Anyways, what a lovely idea. I'll wear my skin mask. Demonic orgies can be rewarding, but remember that the Vinyakas is a cruel master. Where am I? Oh, yes, the orgy. Three days of wicked debaucheries conducted by a Priapicked Orphamel, the drugs, the compilation, the succubus with hypnotic flute, the ritual murder. Was it real? All I know is that our Kundaka Devi sure knows how to throw a party. But most of all, my compliments to the chef. I became a cannibal. More monster skill, more convent. There you go. That's a good one to have for an evil person such as himself. Another ruler. Well, we got a guy for you. I was going to use him for the uh, Kali Puja Fest, but guess not. Hey, oh Kali Porters. Did I say fest or feast? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I don't have the money for that because I remember the additional money that you get. Uh, who is the new mayor? Well, that guy is slow, so... Yeah, I need to spy on this guy since um, we failed to botch. Failed to botch. We botched! Easy for me to say, the, the spy master of mine. I can tell you what. Is there anyone with better entry? Preferably someone in India that's willing to join a code of high entry. This guy from Gujarat who's just about as sinful as I am. Come over here. Which, by the way, since, does that make you? You're the leader. Aha. Leader comes to court. I need your wise counsel. Because I'm going to make you the spy master. And you could bring your children too. The good you're out there, children. Uh, you may not like me. But damn it. We're going to get along just fine. I don't think assassinating him will do. It's a bit of a maybe, but... Man, he's lost that position. He's lost the honor of doing so. We'll deal with him later. Just need you to be scheming. Oh, and uh, minor title. Get to be a... Uh, court poet. Come up with some evil, evil poetry. Matter of fact, me personally, I really like Indian poetry. My arbitrariness has just cost me several gold, coin, gold coins. Easy for me to say, I just lost them. Priests from a local Hindu temple have approached me, asking for donations. They need to expand the temple with a new building in order to accommodate the growing number of worshippers. Well, I can gain a little karma from it. I will help you. Make sure you put in that large Kali statue. <laughs> Again, I'm trying to restore some of that back. In the meanwhile, continue to build up on the prestige by going on to the route of hopefully become one day Vijayan. You know what? Screw it. Hold that paste. 
In the Indian almond feast, even though it's December, tradition dictates that I offer a gift to my spouse. I should plan for this and buy something before the feast begins. Oh man, we just barely made it. A jeweled necklace would be perfect. I need to make my wife like me more. It's another thing I'm trying to do here. Shrewd, uncouth, cynical cigars. Impressive. We'll find out next year what your brother is going to be like. Great minds think alike. Which, by the way, I'm not raising these children. It's my wife that's doing it. The castle is decorated with flowers and beautiful tapestries, carpets and ribbons. All the guests have arrived. There's a bustle of people all eager and full of festive spirit. A time for It's time for the feast to begin. Welcome all. I'm sure one day I'll probably die of stress, which I don't think it's a great loss because we got a worthy son here. At the feast, it's time for the traditional ceremony of gifts. My wife is overjoyed with a magnificent gift. There's a 30% chance that she may fall in love with me. And she didn't, but at least she's happy. It's all hard to think what I could do to endear the Takurani to me. I'm already so perfect. After all, why would anyone need encouragement in order to enjoy the pleasure of being in my good graces? Oh, I ain't got the money anymore. I'll just write a letter. Write about how lucky she is to have a friend like me. The darkest night of uh, Kali Puja is here. The most important night of the feast. The candles lit everywhere. Uh, placed inside human skulls. The guests stroll across the painted and decorated floor, carrying the symbols of time and death and change. Homage is offered to the beautiful and terrifying four arms idols with swords, skulls, and several heads in their hands. Again, this part here, that's where I would usually do if I have prisoners. So instead, let's just let the ceremonies begin. Several black goats are brought forth by the priests. The ghosts are laid down with a large statue of Kali, and their throats are cut open. The blood is collected in the bowls made of human skulls and presented to the crowd. A chanting arises, and then a cheer, as a holy sacrifice to the goddess of death, time, and the blackest night has been made. Praise Kali, our mother. Bit more karma. The feast is over, but it was a fantastic feast. As the guests make their way home and sit down to smile, I saw pleased with how these things turn out. I should do this again next year, but with more money. And she showered me with a justly earned praise after the kind of her. It's no doubt that she's been struck by my show of prestige. How gracious of her. Told you we'll get along. Oh, and we fell in love. We did fall in love, after all, from the beast. I tell her about my prosperous realm, or lack thereof. Yeah, not impressed as the old man who's still around, and they call him the Bewitched. Did he have an affair? Because that's what that usually means. My wife uh, has avoided me for some time now, and uh, rare occasions uh, we've met turned into nights of passion. I remember the evenings of arguments and disagreement. It did not come as a shock when she told me that she no longer loves me, but it hurts me more than I thought it would. We are a wife and husband. What need for love? Well, it's back to normal. <laughs> that didn't last long. I've done what I can. No, skip that. I don't have the money for that. I just want to arrest him and kick him out. Unless, unless he tells me it's like, hey, it's time to sacrifice a ruler. Oh, where were you when I needed you most? No, that's a different guy. Oh, I can't afford that. I mean, I want money, but I need prestige. Let them work on their own pace. 
I will one day embrace Jainism and have more of the karma, the karma, um, karma, easy for me to say, or slash purity for the Jains. You're under arrest! Flag is raised in rebellion. Oh, this will be easy. No need to call for allies. We can handle this ourselves. We build up our military good. Does this dummy have any money? Very little. One fleet wealth. Yeah, very little, very little. Matter of fact, every time we win a war, we gain 100 prestige. So after this war, convert to Jain and replace him with the Jain mayor. Maybe they'll look at me more highly. Everyone should look at me more highly. Alright, let's party. Let's celebrate our victory. Taking down this city once again. We're not quite there yet. We'll get that. Oh, you got no money? Oh, putting you under house arrest. You just stay right there. We have plans for you. If we can get this little private feast done. Bakur of Panako Khan has brought out a board in pieces and we suggest we play a few rounds to determine who is the better strategist. He insists that we play for money. Very well, let's play. We played for hours, tides of fortune ebbing and flowing as I try to attack my opponent's position without opening my defense too much. Uh, eventually, however, I've made a fatal mistake that my opponent exploded and I lost the game. I'll get you next time, Takur of Nello. Hopefully this will get rid of stress. But nonetheless, it's going to gain me some prestige. Nope, but um, it's options are not there. Oh well, next year. Be patient. The rise of the Chola has been coming. It is coming. Yeah. Who else? Oh yeah, since we're on the road to Jainism, we need to get rid of this guy sooner rather than later. But, we need to get rid of this incompetent guy, which, he's hard to crack. But since he's no longer Spy Master anymore, hopefully this will be a little easier. At least, in my mind. What's my son doing? Kill me? Hey! Oh lord. You stop that right now. At least now I know who are willing to back, and it's the other members of the council who don't like me. It doesn't help that the man is zealous, but I will soon convert to the faith right now. Well, actually, just wait, because I didn't want to make a second episode, you know, this conversion. Because I will soon wrap this up. This first episode of, of Chola, which, again, it's not a very impactful beginning, but it's a... A slow, methodic, dark, evil beginning of this sort of thing. Since you are weak, you're not going to be one for struggle. Okay, he's all grown up now. That's okay. Who's better? Vijayalaya is the one who's better. He's the better brother, as far as skills concerned. He's more diplomatic. He's more military intrigue. And plus, he's not uncouth, unlike uh, a Prantaka. Son. If you manage to reach adulthood, or at least reach 12, I'll have you betrothed to somebody. Unless there's a crisis in this realm. 
Hmm. I'll figure out a way to get rid of stress. Oh, good lord. Stewardship is so low. One of these days it's going to happen. Oh yeah, I could do tainted touch, but sometimes you may not get the results of what you want. So just wait a few months until... You are making this worse. But don't worry, we got a very good council when we had a crust revolt. About to say, hey, you need some help? Because I got this, um... I don't think it's going to get me with what I would like. 250. No, just short. And I'm not getting no guru. Because I'm not that kind of person. <laughs> All the kinds of rumors have been spread about Dr. Ryan research. She says she has no understanding of how to cultivate a proper image. She needs someone to help her out. Oh, she's having bad nights, suffering from back pain and headaches due to not, uh, not having had proper night's sleep in weeks. Have you even ranked up at all? It doesn't look like it. Matter of fact, you're not even... <laughs> Basically, you're getting nowhere, unless you've been accomplishing missions. A proper image is the first step to quote court in intricacies. So it's just to help the understanding of the court intrigue. I swear to my cause. Well? Oh, provoked. Oh, that didn't work. That didn't work. Just a moment. Before I close this episode. Can't seem to get rid of him now. Okay, let's stop at July first. Stop it right about now. So again. In the Palava realm, it hasn't really expanded much. The old man is still alive and stressed just as I am that revolt has still been ongoing but it doesn't look like it's gonna go their way but it's gonna go to their way and our Jayan friends well they're soon gonna be my friends because in the next episode I will convert to Jainism but I will still be a member of Kali Purusha in other words I'm still gonna do the work of evil while using Jainism as a cover. And hopefully he could we can be a little bit of friends to help out with your problems as he made Gujarat the kingdom. So I hope you enjoyed this pretty dark beginning for the Chola series. Because in the next episode, well, I think we may have to switch focus because I think we may have to get rid of this Pujari in order to make way for the Jayans to take over. To take over. But I think we may have to hold one last Kali Puja festival, which will sacrifice a prisoner as we had promised. And then the Jain. Basically, 778 will be the year that Iraja Sakara converted to Jainism. So. We'll see you next time. Until then, so long for now.